it's the funnel, and we are here at the uh, very tropical Runaway Bay. We're set here in Jamaica, although it's only about 30-some degrees outside. But most importantly, we have Larry Rotter with us tonight. After uh, missing the last, last race, we are very happy to have you, Larry. And uh, of course, uh, for folks who don't know, we had a, a bout with spinal meningitis. Okay. And you were in the hospital for how long? About six days. It really knocked me out. Hopefully I'm back. I'm not quite up 100% of sleep yet. Well, we, uh, we, we see that uh, in practice you've been very strong. It looks like, you know, you, we're not going to be worried about you being at the uh, tail end of this field, I don't think. I haven't practiced a whole lot. Okay. However, I got it. I got it. Yeah, was it a, is it a viral thing or is it something you pick up from other people? It's a viral thing. You can't catch it from yeah. I just got it. But very scary nonetheless. Your teammate is a bad influence. Did you know that? No. I had her on the show a couple of races ago, and uh, she claims that you're the one who is pushing her too hard. 5-109, full time. <laughs> oh, you're, you're owning up to this. You see, now we assume that the mild-mannered, laid-back Larry Rodder wouldn't be that kind of a teammate. 8 so You're owning up to it. Very interesting. Yelling at me over there. Yeah, I don't doubt it. Anybody yet? Yeah. It's like having a second wife, isn't it? Hey! We're very happy to have you back here at the races and, and to have you as a guest on the wind funnel. Thank you very much. On. It's the Jamaica theme as we're here live from Waukesha, Wisconsin tonight for the natural, well, close natural foods Grand Prix here at a brand new facility right away at Runaway Bay. A Jamaica theme and get this, there's snow flurries outside. Yeah, just a little bit colder than we had expected here, you know, drivers got to bundle up and uh, but the action down here is going to be nice and hot. You bet, we got a strong field tonight, 11 cars uh, strong as, as a teammate. And, uh, one guy that was supposed to be here, Tony Perkins, but the people here, the Jamaican people were all over this, all the media all the time, but it didn't happen. The team blamed weather concerns. Oh, we heard there might be another inside story involving a strip club in Indianapolis and some gunfire with the Indiana Pacers. Yeah, we're not exactly sure what the uh, story is with Tony. I think it's just a little bit too much party. Wow, so the T. Perkins story is hot tonight. We don't know where he is. He's not here. He could be in jail for all we know. But the Outpost Natural Foods Grand Prix is here for the Raceway Runway. Yeah, I keep looking at my cue card right there. They, they got it all set up here in Jamaica. It's a lot of fun. Enjoy the Red Stripe and let's go racing. for the Outpost the Natural Food Grand Prix at the Raceway at Runaway Bay. On the pole, the Japanese driver in Jamaica. Here, that's Ev Kamikawa, car number nine, the hottest driver in the circuit. He's made every final so far this year. Alongside of him is his WIJobs.com teammate, John Shea. He won at the Milwaukee Mile earlier this year. And then number 19 car, that's a Sunny Barbecue car. Man, that'd be cool to have the big boy car. That's my favorite place to eat. And next to him is, uh, what is it? Uh, oh, uh, Mike Fitzlock, yeah, yeah. And, uh, and next to him there, that's the black car. Uh, and that's Larry Ryder. I'm glad to have him back. I'm not, I'm not sure where he was, but we're glad he's back. That's great to see him back. And the next row here, this car is a PKBHO car. You look on the name of the side, it says Jim. That's Jim Iverson, your winner one week ago. And alongside of him is your point leader, Dan Margetta, in car number seven. There's another PKB car. I can't read the side there because I can't read, but I think that's Mark, Mark Waldeck because we talked to Larry Iverson already. And there's a Walmart car there. Uh, I, don't, I can't go in Walmart anymore because I got buttons for shoplifting, but that's not cool. Ralph Stroh, like I was told. <laughs> Otherwise known as Dean, the voice of the Milwaukee Mile. Back here is Chris Spirit, the car number zero, the McDonald's machine. Alongside of him, the car number three, that's Mike Kristoff. And rounding out the field, Amy Butler, Larry Rodder's teammate. That's your field. It's the Outpost Natural Foods Grand Prix here in Waukesha. It feels like Jamaica. Raceway, runaway bay.
Heat race number one ready to roll off, and the lead already is Ev Kamikawa. He is followed by Larry Rotter, and then you have Chris Spirit challenging Rotter already. But Ev has opened up a very nice lead here. And we are early on in this first heat race, and Ev Kamikawa has raced out to almost a three lap lead over Larry Rotter. And Kitty Bo Peep, we are just thrilled to see Larry Rotter back on the racetrack after missing the last race. Oh my God, I am so glad to see Larry back. Well, I, it was such a shame. Yellow deal. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Thank you. Yeah, very scary stuff. He had a battle with meningitis in the hospital for almost a week, but came home about a week ago and now here at the track. That is a real trooper, isn't he? Oh, that Larry Potter. Yes, he's a quiet man, but he's very strong, very determined. So as the cars come through kind of the interior of the island here, they come around to the outside and down to a long back straightaway. And then wind down around the outside. Come down around here, down to the start finish line. Ev Kamikawa way out in front. Leading about eight laps over Larry Rotter. So the battle for second place now. We see that Chris Spirit has moved into second place. Very important position to be in these heat races where we have the transfer position available. Now, Kitty, Chris Spirit has been something of an enigma as a driver. He's had some big success. He won the HO Indy 500, but of course he's also suffered just some uh, some tough luck in the past. So what do you think is going to uh, have to happen for this kid to, to show some real results? I think he's been cycling right along, and he should consider switching to another team. Or maybe some new blood, huh? If I was as a driver as Larry, one minute, one minute. as a person without, I would be working like the it is something else. I mean, he's, he's back here. Of course, he's, you know, a little weak, obviously. He's still on the comeback trail from the meningitis, but uh, a valiant effort to be here tonight, show up, and, uh, you know, race strong. Even though he's probably, it looks like he's going to finish third in this heat race, it's still uh, to no shame to, that he's going to turn out with a good finish here nonetheless. So the time's running down in this first heat race. And it looks like Ev Kamikawa is going to hold on to this race. Chris Spirit's going to finish second, and then he's going to have to uh, sit on the hot seat and see who can score the most laps among the second place finishers. Ev Kamikawa is the winner of the first heat race here. Is the starting lineup for heat race number two. Mike Kristoff in the blue and white car. The yellow and white car is John Shea. The red and white car is Jim Iverson. The black car is Amy, the beer drinking diva butler. Four cars in his heat race. Heat race number two. Oh, a big crash for Kristoff right off the bat. There's a turn there, Mike. You got to see that coming. There's guardrails and everything. And look at that. It looks like the battle for the lead right now is going to be right here. John Shea over Jim Iverson. Early on, as Mike Kristoff had all kinds of problems on the start. Here in heat race number two. And the TV crew's got to put down their mic. Mike can cover both sides and come over here. Okay, we're back in the booth now. We had to fix that car. <laughs> we had some serious marshalling uh, shortages here in, in Jamaica. It's the Jamaicans, man. They're out partying. Pit stop there for Amy Butler. Making an adjustment on the car. The car had some handling issues early on. She's in there way down on the track for a stop and go. But the lead right now is this yellow and white car right here. You see flying by. That's John Shea. He leads over Jim Iverson. He's right behind him there in the red and white machine. And we mentioned the great racing action here between John Shea and Jim Iverson. They're side by side to the corner there. Shea takes the lead, but Iverson is right behind him. Boy, he really makes a turn right here. Shea really kicks in right there. The yellow and white machine is out front, but Jim Iverson is chasing him down. He can catch him, but can he pass him? It's this giant wall. Giant plexiglass wall. There's no other one like it on the circuit. Dunn's job tonight is to get these cars from flying across the speedway there and hit the way and coming the other way. But one of the most unique aspects of the raceway at Runaway Bay is the giant plexiglass wall. Boston has the green monster. They've got the giant plexiglass wall. They're looking to name that one, interestingly. You can send your suggestions in on the series website. What can we name the Runaway Bay giant plexiglass wall?
at the Hanover Mark lunch. of the Heat Race, and Mike Kristoff is in for a break. How does Mike Kristoff finish his races Go with all the drive and stamina of the race car driver? There it is. There's the secret. Chocolate chip cookies, homemade. <laughs> Really ready to go. The other two drivers want them too, but they can't. As second half is on the Please. way with John Shea with a three lap lead over Jim Iverson. The interesting goings on here in this second heat race. Well, John Shea enjoys a two and a half lap lead over Jim Iverson. There's a lot of trash talking between the drivers running third and fourth with Mike Kristoff and Amy Butler really trading the barbs on the team radios right now. Amy Butler even resorting to Spanish insults. There's Kristoff. He hits something right there and it stopped again. Kind of like the problem he had early on. But the other three cars are still going. You'll see him come through here again. Here comes Kristoff. Oh, we saw the crash back there. That was Amy Butler. And the trash talking continues as Kristoff goes by. In the final minute as Kristoff again goes off there. The final minute of competition here. There's your two leaders. John Shea in the yellow car moves by about two laps over Jim Iverson in the white car. But Jim Iverson has got the transfer spot right now. The fastest second place finisher will uh, advance. Now, right now Iverson holds it with one more heat race to go. The other, oh, there's Kristoff. You see they split him as he goes by. The final 10 seconds here. The yellow and white car of John Shea. He's run here before. Actually, both guys have, but there's your finish. John Shea will join his teammate M. Kamakawa in the final. Jim Iverson, congratulates him. Amy Butler and Mike Kristoff will go home. But that team right there comprises half of the Outpost Natural Foods Grand Prix. The other half is still to be decided in the next heat race. Well, one of the things you might notice along the side of this brand new Runaway Bay racetrack is that uh, evidently in Jamaica they can't afford modern firefighting equipment, so they've got the horse-drawn carriage. Now we have 750 horsepower race cars, but we have horse-drawn fire trucks. I would say if you're caught in a fire in your car, if you can't get out, it's been nice knowing you. It's heat race number three, ready to roll off. Dan Margen on the far left. Then you've got Mike Fitzloff, Mark Walzak, and the rookie Dean Strom. And the first lap, led by Mike Fitzloff. That's the hometown favorite here at Runaway Bay, and he is doing just that, running away. Oh, but not before he piles it up, and so do a couple of cars here at this end. Stop and go, blues. And it looks like a uh, stop and go coming for Mark Walzak. So he's parking it in. And we've got uh, uh, Dean Strom coming in here as well. So the lead now battling between Fitzloff and Dan Margetta. Margetta, the points leader, he needs to keep pace with second place points. In, second place in points, Ev Kamakawa, who has already won his heat race and advanced to the final. So far, Fitzloff, other than the one spin, running very cleanly out front. All right, we're watching Dan Margetta having a major problem here in the green lane, coming through some of these twisty bits here on the interior portion of the track. Been off several times now, and that lead for Mike Fitzloff continues to grow. We started to say earlier, Jim Iverson has set the bar very high for a transfer position, 93 laps which uh, just pretty much crushed the first heat race second place finisher of about 85. So as we look at the timing and scoring computer, little Chris Economaki, we see that Mark Walzak has moved into second place, but this has been a race of uh, a lot of crashing, a lot of, a lot of mess out there. I thought these guys were professionals, but... Clearly not. I'm starting to have my doubts about these guys. I want my money back. No, we're paying you, remember? But I had to pay to get in here. They charged you to get in? You're part of the broadcast team. Oh, I guess I probably should have told them that they get it. Rookie Dean Strom has climbed up the hill and has passed Dan Margetta for third place. And Dean is absolutely en fuego here in the second half. So it looks like Dan Margetta continues to struggle here in the second half with this tough red lane. One minute left to go. Mike Fitzloff, the hometown hero here at Runaway Bay, continues to lead this thing. He's about nine laps ahead. About 30 seconds left to go. Fitzloff leads by nine laps over Dean.
Time is running out. And the question now is between Dean Strom and Mark Walzak. Dean Strom right now holding on to second place. He's about a lap ahead of Mark Walzak. Time's gonna run out, and it is Dean takes second place. Mike Fitzlock, you won your heat. A fine effort there. Chaos was breaking out around you. How did you maintain your composure? I just had to keep swerving around debris the whole race. I didn't want to cut a tire down. I was really worried. <laughs> Put you into the final here at your home track. How confident are you heading into this final? I don't know. Shane Kamakawa, they're fast. But if I can get a podium out of it, I'd be really happy. And uh, RJ, let me keep the ride. And then, okay, yeah, that was the politically answer me then. That was the politically correct answer. Yeah. Now, tell us. The, the real deal. Win. There you go. You heard it here first. Mike Pitzlaff. He's in the final tonight in the Outpost Foods Grand Prix. That's right. What do you, you guys have? Ev Kamakawa, John Shea here in the final. We'll start with you, Ev. You've made every final so far this year. What are your chances to crack victory lane? Well, let me tell you, Dino Bravo. I believe my chances are one in four. <laughs> <That's your sign>. <laughs> <laughs> Move on. Outpost Natural Foods is sponsor here as we are at the raceway at Runaway Bay with Jim Iverson. You won the last Mommy. time out here. In the <laughs> what are your chances of uh, having a double? Uh, not very good. The three other guys are faster than me. I've been oh, I? I'm as surprised as I could possibly be to be in the final right now. I'm just surprised to be here. I'm happy to be here. Was it the fact that you opened the night with a beer? That could be it. I got a little uh, That's just the three sheets to the win. That's a whole naughty <laughs> expression. It's just eight of Well, good luck. Thanks a lot. That's Jim Iverson. He's our fourth of four finalists here in the raceway at Runaway Bay. <laughs> It's the final Two, of the three, go. Outpost Natural Foods Grand Prix is underway. Early lead. Let's see. They're neck and neck there. That's Mike Fitzloff and Ev Kamakawa. Ev has the lead. And a tie up there at the back for his teammate. All right. Out front. That's Ev. In front. Mike Fitzloff. Not far behind. This is going to be a very fast final, Dan. I think we're going to see some uh, a lot of a lot of laps racked up, and hopefully not as many crashes as we saw in some of these heat races. That was your leader, Ed Kamakawa, that had an incident there just as we were talking about driving smart and driving fast. Technically, this should be the best four drivers of the night. We said very very fast race, and it looks like it's going to be that way. Ev Kamakawa fast, but the hometown guy Mike Fitzlock has a whole lot of people backing him tonight, including the sponsor. That's right, we're happy to have Outpost Natural Foods take on sponsorship of this brand new track. Here the fourth round of the HO Champ Car World Series and Kitty Bo Peep, uh, Natural Foods. I mean, you're all about natural foods, keeping fit, keeping thin, trim, all that. Oh yes, I go to Outpost Foods all the time, they have the best food there. Time's going to run out here in the first half shortly, but Ev has gotten past his teammates, so it's Kamakawa now one full lap. Oh, he comes right back. Comes right back. It's his, it's his lap back and all big crash there going off the track. That was your leader. Coming in. Right. First of the WIJobs.com cars are due in. There he is, Je uh, Jeff Kamakawa. Little beast. It's pretty good. He, he starts to... Special Caters are doing pretty good. Uh, goes, but they're having some, some trouble changing the front tire. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. He's off. <laughs> what happened? Yeah, the tire is coming off the tire. Okay. John Shay. So we're, we're waiting for the other WIJobs.com wow. car due in next. He's coming in on this lap. He says on the radio, he's in. Well, he's in. They're moving pretty quickly by right that mustard tire. Whoa, they're really, really, really fast. I can't believe it. And he's all already. Speeding. Quick stop for John Shea. So now we wait for third place and hometown favorite. Time by. That's Mike Fitzloff. Come in this time. He has one win in this series. And he says he's coming in. There he is. And he's in. Man, they're going pretty fast in that big white car. Look at him change that tire. Sunny. Look at him wiping the, wiping the windows and changing the gas. And Wow, he's getting a drink there. He's all there fast. Wow. A good stop for the R.J. Foyt racing team, and of course anything can happen with that R.J. Foyt team. You don't know what kind of team he's going to bring for the pits. And now the Gray Fox, PKV, H.O., Jim Iverson is due in. He's in. They're going to work. They're going to work. Red, red, red. 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 Red, red.
some okay. trouble. I can't, I can't see. Oh, the, the air jack field. The car fell off back on the track. Oh, they're getting it, they're getting it fixed. Oh, they got to pull out the hand jack to get it back up there. Oh, man, what a disaster. Oh, the guys, they don't know what they're doing over there. Oh, man, I've never seen nothing like this in my whole life. I think they got, like, Gomer Pyle over here or something. Oh, man, there they go. They got it going. And, uh, and, uh, and he's out of there. A long stop. But wait a second, there's a stop and go for a pit speed violation. What's wrong with those guys? All right, Ev Kamakawa now having to fix his car. Putting it back together. Got it back on. The body came off of that car. I don't think I've seen that happen in a long time. He got it back on in record time. That was good work by the pit crew for WIJobs.com. Very good. That was that was fast work after seeing that car come apart on him. Shay with a three-point lead over Fitzloff now as he runs second. Ev Kamakawa running third, four laps down to uh, to uh, Fitzloff. Well, DTK, we've seen a little bit of everything in this race. We saw a guy put his whole body back on his chassis. It, this is something else. Yeah, it's just been nuts, hasn't it? F. Kamakawa had this race seemingly in hand until just past the halfway point. Crash. Another crash, crash right crash, there crash, for crash. the Kamakawa car. It's upside down more than it's on its wheels. The body was off. It's all falling apart. He's probably going to get the point lead. But John Shea's the beneficiary, set, but watch Mike Fitzloff, he's closing the gap there within two laps. So the time is running down here, and uh, John Shea is looking to become two for two on his season. He's missed the uh, second and third rounds of this series, but he's back for round four, and he's just going to win. He's just going to show up when he, when he feels like he's going to win, evidently. Time's running down. About 30 seconds left to go, and John Shea continues to hold Hold on to the... Oh, that was great. He landed on top of the rocks. You know, <laughs> next year, look for there to be a waterfall in that spot right there, so they're going to add a water feature to the track. That'll be spectacular. Five seconds to go. We're watching John Shea. We're watching John Shea win the Outpost Natural Ooh, Foods yeah. Grand Prix. Thank you, John. Nice Thank you, Martin. Bravo! Nice bravo! Run. Bravo! Hi, <laughs> Kitty Bo Peep here with John Shea, the winner of this fine outpost race. John, congratulations, two for two now. Woo! Well, thank you very much, Kitty. Uh, Woo! Glad to have our WisconsinJobs.com chaparral. What color is that car? Jim Hall is smiling somewhere uh, back Woo! in Victory Lanes. Great feeling, I tell you what. Go ahead, Mike. And I want to introduce Mike Fitzlaw, uh, owner of Runaway Bay Racetrack. Mike? John, congratulations on a fantastic win. Here's the traveling red stripe trophy for the winner of the All Post Grand Prix. Woo! Thank you, Mike. Being finished for Ev Kamakawa, and you gave us an algebra lesson before the race. You said you had a 25% chance of winning. Obviously, your 25% didn't come up. What happened? Well, let me tell you, mean Dean Oakland. When you're out there on the track, I'll obey any rules from the commissioner, Vince McMahon. But I ain't taking any rules from that missile is not going to get out of here! We're taking us to LCM! <laughs> oh, to LCM we go! My gosh, there's some bad blood! Holy I think cow! There's a little, I think there's a little bad blood between Pete Trevi's team. What are you going to do about your teammate? Well, what we're going to do is my teammate and I are going to stomp him at Lake County Motor Club. What do you think you're just saying? Little anger management. Well, obvi obviously yeah. smarter than those guys. Not as angry as I don't think you're going anywhere, you're Oh, man. We are out of here. We're out of time. We'll see you in two weeks. State Farm 400, Lake Country Motorplex, October 28th. This thing is out of control. Excellent job, John.